Alright, so, you know, this is gonna bullshit. I ran out of there and I leveled up a little. Not a lot. I mean, I literally leveled up one level. So, um, you know, I'm still dying. And I don't know what to say, but I'm dead. That's pretty much my assumption. I mean, the battle has been pretty hard and I skipped... You know, I just don't feel like this was a legit kind of thing. It was, like, way out there. Like, I guess that's why they did the, uh... So this is the first battle. I guess that, that that's why they made you do the side quest. Because once you get to this part, you're like, holy moly, this is rigged. And I do think, I do feel it's rigged too. No doubt about it. So you run through this thing, and then you, they shoot you, and then you, you eventually you get into a fight. And I think I'm going to die. So I might cut the video. And you don't want to stand directly behind him. That's the worst idea. Because his tail is going to whip you. All right, so uh, this time we won. I think that was a complete fluke. But, you know, <laughs> I take it. I'm not going to be dumb enough to try to fight him again. You're coming with me, treasure. The suspense is killing me. Even if it was a fluke, I fluked it. Look at that, these guys just standing there. Like, are you crazy, man? Holy shit, I could actually go. Oh my god, I forgot you could do this. Oh, now we're gonna, now we're, 
Now we're playing. I forgot you could go to bed. Now we're way above level, so I'm, I'm not even afraid of dying. Alright, so, you know. You know, yeah, I mean, I forgot you could do that. I thought you just level up normally. This game is kind of different. You have to go to sleep to level up. Now we're way above level. I mean, watch we die anyways. I mean, that would be the funny thing. Oh, yeah, we're way above level. And then, whoop, we're dead. Oh, I didn't know we could die. All right, so anyways, we're way above level. Like, we're fighting a level... I'm assuming we're fighting a level, uh, 34. See, all of these guys have the... Except him. All right, might as well just forge him a new weapon. I love how games you can go into these rooms. Like the old days. All right, let, let, let's finish this guy. Now I'm not afraid. I'm level 44, man. You're level 32. Spoiling for a fight. Happy to oblige. Prepare to die, man. Look, we're not even... Well, actually, somebody's missing, but it's not Laura. Out my way, let me pick up whatever I need to pick up. Oh, we didn't even die from that. Interesting. Usually we die from that, right? But well, I guess once you're level 44, it's a different story. Oh, okay. Now we're dead. So you can still die, even at level 44, which makes me feel like it's completely rigged.
Well, partner, this is a first. Malos. So this is the Aegis. Malos. He has an awesome presence. We would do well to proceed with caution. Agreed. Your M.O. is different this time, Malos. What are you trying to do? If this is a joke, it's not funny. I got bored of it. Bored? Letting Siren have all the fun got old, I mean. I wanted to see the humans dance. The dance of death and the flames of hellfire. What do you... That. I know full well what the Tornin' Titan truly is. I've decided I'm gonna lay that truth bare for everyone to see. Manos! Bastard! Each of the artifices I command holds ether energy that would rival even the largest titan. Imagine if a legion of them made it to the core of the Torn and Titan and unleashed that energy all the force. Our time for dancing would be short but sweet. You want me to stop? Had enough? Then try and make me. Come on! Come at me! So we're slightly higher in terms of level for uh, against Malos, but hopefully that you know that'd be beneficial for us. Well, at least we ain't dead after that, so that's kind of good. Somewhere around 50% is, is, you know, he's gonna stop the fight. That's always the case with these games.
Oh, I'm dead. What the fuck? And he has a Monado shield on. I gotta say, you, you should just fall, man. You're almost dead anyways. Come on, man. Like, you don't have to waste all of our time. The good guys, generally speaking, at a higher level too, usually generally wins. That's it, he's dead. Good. I with you. How could my finisher move not kill him? I'm loving this. Good job, my partner and her minions. Adam Orico, heir of Torna. Looks like that resonance isn't just for show. You're too kind. Golden eyes. I thought Tornans all had blue eyes. You're a bastard, is that it? My father is generous. He pays no attention to things like that. <laughs> You're wrong. You don't understand the consequences. Don't I? And you don't understand what humans are. Malos, the all knowing. A diligent student, you could say. Then learn this. Huh? Mithra! Heads up! humans and blades can do together. But you threw that away! <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that crap. Better off without it. Closely, and you'll learn one thing. Deep down, they wish they were dead. 
They kill each other like they swat flies, running towards oblivion like blind rats. They see the divine flame of life and piss over it. <laughs> They're genius at that. In a class all of their own, really. Malice. Oh, that flame is wasted on them. So I... I want to give them a little push in the right direction. As the benevolent servant of our wise dad should. <sighs> Here, keep yourselves entertained. I'll go get what I came for.